Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you guys are great. So there's a tutorial that I shared with you a year ago on this band. So in today's video, we are going to talk about this band. So if you find this video entertaining, interesting, or if you learn something from this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. So guys, uh, a year ago, I shared with you a tutorial on how to make this band. So this is just an update on them because also most of you have been asking me if I sell them. Yes, I do sell them. I'll put a link for you in the description box down below as well. So the only difference between this and the one that I shared with you is the fabric. I actually decided to change the fabric because of the comfortability. I feel like this one is very very comfortable compared to the other one. The details are just the same. It has a velcro. And it's very 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 long as you can see it's very long also most of my clients have been asking me if it comes in sizes no the size is just one if you are a medium small uh, XL the size is just the same unless if you want to wear two but I haven't had any case where someone wants two so I'm going to show you how it works if you haven't watched my first video so this is how it looks again it has a velcro right there and then it's this long and then it's stretches so you're going to just uh wrap it on your tummy like this this is how you're going to adjust it you it stretches as you can see it really stretches so if you just uh wrap it like that and then you can wrap it where you're comfortable don't just like pull it to make it tighter just make sure it's comfortable because if it's not breathable then you won't be comfortable and you also don't want to suffocate yourself so uh if you feel like you if you put there and you feel like it's too tight you can just adjust and put it like right there put it uh where you're comfortable like there but for me i feel like this part right here is so loose i feel like it's so loose so i prefer when it's there so like that just continue wrapping it on your tummy overlap them so that it doesn't uh show that just in case you want to go out with it just overlap it like that so that you know there are no bulges or uh, bumps like that and then continue wrapping so i'm not pulling mine so so much because i really don't want it to be too tight i just want it to be comfortable so that i can wear it maybe for longer hours and then also another thing guys so that this is another velcro just to secure it again like that and again i also love when my velcro is on the side so for this part right here i'm just going to pull it uh to the side but then again, if you feel like it's not that comfortable, you're just going to loosen it and put it there where you are comfortable. So you can also adjust it to your to fit your tummy. So again, guys, when it's like this, I really feel like it's very, very comfortable. When it's like this, you, if your tummy is bigger than mine, you might not wrap it as many times as mine. Maybe you'll just go for like uh, three or four rounds. Like let's assume like my tummy was bigger. This is the first round. I'm not going to make it tighter. This is the first round. I'm just going to loosen it uh, the second time and maybe the third time or fourth time. And then now for the last one, you have to make sure it reaches this part right here. So like that. Okay, so that you have something like this. And then uh, you can wear this when you're at home, when you're in the house, when you're relaxed. You really don't have to go with it outside. If so again, if you want to wrap it from uh, like uh, your uh, abdominal area, then you can just do so. But then again, if you wrap it like this, that means you are not really going out. Yeah, because how are you going to walk when it's like this? So the first time I was trying it on, I wasn't like spacing it. But right now I'm trying to space it so that, you know, it reaches like almost under my bust line. So I'm just going to do that. And uh, again, wrap it like that. Wrap it like that. But I'm not pulling it so much. I'm not making it tighter because I really want it to be also to be, you know, comfortable. So you can wrap it like that. As you can see it from here. You can go out with this like that and but just make sure guys just make sure that it's comfortable just make sure that you're breathing if you know feel like it's too tight just loosen it okay or after you've eaten and then you feel like maybe it's uncomfortable just remove it don't like uh 
strain yourself don't push yourself in so much pressure just take it off and also if, if you're not used to it uh, the first time maybe you might feel it's tighter so just wait for like uh, three four hours and then take it off you don't have to wear it for eight hours or ten hours and then i really don't advise you to sleep in this uh in this bands because of course it will like restrict your breathing when you're sleeping so i really won't advise you to sleep in there especially like just because you want to get like a flat tummy i really don't advise you to sleep in your shaper your corset looks at the back as you can so guys if you watch if you watch my previous uh video with my grandma she really advised to wrap your tummy immediately after delivery because it kind of helps to shrink your tummy or your uterus other than waiting for like a week or two to start like um you know binding your tummy you really have to do it immediately for the tummy to start shrinking like doing it immediately is going to help a lot you're going to see um, some difference compared to if you have to wait for a week or two for you for you to start uh, binding your tummy so guys about cs i really want to advise you to use it immediately after cs guys i am not a doctor i really can't say so much about that but if you really want to use it this and you've had cs just consult with your doctor even if uh, it's normal delivery just uh, consult your doctor as well but once one thing i know about it is actually okay for normal delivery for cs i really can't tell you about that i, I personally also don't think like it will be okay to use it after cs you don't want to get infections so also this uh ban it works like the traditional malaysian way of uh trapping your tummy i think their band is called bangkok or something i'll put their name right here i really can't remember the name but they use bangkok to tie your to wrap your tummy or to bind your tummy after delivery so that the uterus shrinks faster so i feel like these uh band they work almost the same to shrink your uterus again i just remember there's another hack that my grandma shared uh, with us on how to wrap your tummy after delivery and i really felt so good uh, because so many people appreciated the hack or the idea and also most of the people could relate with that especially african countries is a hack that most of the african countries or it's just like a traditional way to you know to shrink your tummy after delivery and i was so impressed that most of the people could relate with that and um yeah i've never had a six pack i've never had abs because i really don't work on my muscles but but, but then if you really want to get a permanent a uh, smaller tummy or abs you really have to work out you just have to work on your muscles these bands are very uh, portable so you can just uh, carry it to wherever you're going so you're just going to fold it fold it like that like this Uh, my advice is just try it on first when you're at home uh, before like deciding to go with it outside because you never know something that is comfortable um, something that i'm comfortable with maybe you might not be comfortable with it or maybe i might be comfortable in it for like maybe two three hours and maybe you maybe for you just comfortable in them for like uh you know 20 minutes or 30 minutes so just make sure before you decide to go with it outside just make sure you wait in your house just to be see if you are you know you're you you comfortable this is something that i have to tell you because our bodies are different and uh especially if you've never worn a corset if you don't wear like shapewear if you, and then also if you're not like used to wearing maybe corsets or shapewear you can just wear it for my, maybe two three hours and then take it off and then maybe after a week try and wear it for longer hours just to be you know just to to, to to train your body to be used to you know to eat like sleeping in your corset is just not comfortable sleeping in your strainer is just not comfortable sleeping in tight underwear is just not comfortable so just make sure you don't wear them at night i just advise you not to wear them at night so guys i have the band in this outfit showing the velcro is right here right here the other one i don't know I think it's somewhere there i can't feel it but i always tell you like on most of my shapewear videos if you pair your shapewear your corset in multicolored outfit like no one is going to notice that you have a shapewear in that outfit and as you can see in this uh dress like no one can really tell that i have a shapewear i have the band in this outfit this is how it looks at the bra.
this is how it looks in this dress so in a plain colored outfit someone might notice the velcro if or if it's a corset someone might notice the hooks so guys that was it for today thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something from this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up comment and don't forget to subscribe see you in my next video bye